Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Samantha. Today I'm going to be sharing with you something totally different to my channel. I'm going to be sharing with you my weight loss story and everything that applies to that weight loss. So what exercise I do, what food I've um, not eaten, what food I am eating, and all of that good stuff. So I'm going to be sharing that with you. But first of all, I've got a few things that I want to ask you. So first of all, I have a question and answer video idea. So on my Instagram, and that should be available now, so the details for my Instagram will be down below. If you would kindly visit my Instagram and on one of the um, Instagram, um, posts if you would kindly and you'll obviously see that because it will be a question and answer um, video idea so if you would love to ask me a question you can then list those questions on there on that post so I would love to hear what you would love to um, or love me to answer so you can do that there. So that's the first thing. The next thing I have is another video idea, and I've done this in the past, revisiting palettes that I own, and I would love it if you listed down below, attached to this video, so in the comments down below, which uh, collaboration palette you would love me to visit, revisit. And also, if you have certain shades um, from particular palettes that you would love me to do an eye look with within those collaboration palettes then obviously do list that as well so the collaboration palette so the collaboration palettes are from revolution and i'll list those down below because i don't have Kami's, and i'm sure there's another one that i don't have because my lovely daughters have their those um i think it was the highlight palette from Soph. so the Kami eyeshadow palette and the highlight palette from Soph but I have all of the others so if you could just kindly list down below the palette and if you would like to see certain shades from that palette um, you know me to try on then list those as well also I would like to just put out a disclaimer that this is going to be my weight loss story I have found that this works for me obviously if you would like to, you could check with your doctor before you go on any diet or exercise program that you're thinking of doing. Um, but like I say, this is my um, weight loss story. This is what works for me. Um, so, you know, I just want to put it out there that, you know, what works for me may not work for you, but I've had really good results from what I'm doing. Also, the last thing before I get on to the actual weight loss story um, is that it is Thursday. So of course that only means one thing and that is Thank You Thursday. And if you are brand new to my channel, Thank You Thursday is where I thank one of you personally. So if you would like to be in with a chance of being uh, mentioned in perhaps next week's video, all you have to do is keep those comments coming in. Just um, subscribe to my YouTube channel follow me on Instagram and keep those comments coming in and um, yeah I may be mentioning you next time. The person that I want to give a shout out to and a virtual hug to is someone that has really given me a lot of support this week and I really do appreciate it. Of course I appreciate all of your comments um, but I can only shout out one person per week um, and that person is Jo Borden. So I just want to give a big big thank you and virtual hug to Jo Borden. You really have made my week this day, um, sorry you have really made the, my week this week um, and you've gone way way far and beyond um, with your comments this week and they have really really made me feel so supported and I just want to give a big big thank you to you so that's Joe Borden and I know that you'll all um, send your um, lovely comments to Joe and congratulate her so what I would like to do now is start off with my um, story so basically my story starts last year and last year well, I, I suppose it's been ongoing for a little while. Now, about five or six years ago, I actually, for the first time in my life, had to go on a diet because exactly the same thing happened as what happened to me last year. Um, but then, five or six years ago, I was actually at work. I was in a job where I was actually sitting down um, for 
six, seven hours a day. And um, in fact, actually, there's that's where a lot of my problems started. So I was in a job where I had to sit at a desk for a long period of time and I suppose you get to a certain age, don't you, where you, I mean, if you're like me and you were very, very slim um, in, as a teenager in your 20s and 30s, I didn't, I tried to put on weight then and I never could. So when it came to, I was in my, it was my early 40s, um, you know, it was a new thing to me that I started then putting on a great deal of weight. I was still eating the same things that I had done in my 20s and 30s. Um, and I found myself, like I say, for the first time needing to go on a diet. And I did in that diet exactly the same as what I've done this time. So about, I suppose it was about late last year, I was going shopping you know Primark shopping and things like that for clothes and I was actually purchasing size 18 to 20 and I knew then that I had to do something about it. It wasn't necessarily that I was in size 20, um, I was possibly in a size 18 um, and I was thinking wow you know when you go into Primark the bigger size that they offer um, is either extra large or size 20 and I thought wow you know if I go to 20 the next size I'll be is 22 and I've actually got quite a small frame and I thought you know I could see in myself obviously I played back my videos um, and looked at myself and I thought wow you really have piled on the pounds and I was then going to I was then starting to get into size 20 because what I was doing was, like I say, I'm not necessarily, I wasn't necessarily a size 20, I was possibly 18, but I wanted to cover it all up. And I thought if I got a really big size um, or a size bigger, that would cover me up. So that's what I was doing. I was then stepping into that size 20 and I thought, like I said, I was in Primark and I thought, what do I do if I get over size, the size 20? What do I do? Where do I go for clothes? And I thought, really, the time has come for me to go on again another diet. Um, and this time, in fact, the first time round, I actually lost the weight very, very quickly very quickly indeed and I couldn't hold that weight off and I think that that is why the weight then crept back on. Um, with this time um, I have done it very slowly, it's probably, I mean we're now coming up to a year, I've possibly been doing this a little bit more than that but I can remember shopping for jumpers last year and thinking wow I'm in extra large, I'm shopping for a size um, 18 to fit me but 20 to try and cover up everything that I don't want to be seen so it was it was that kind of mindset that really I thought you know new year so obviously Christmas came and went new year new start and I need to definitely really go hard on this diet and I was already exercising, so another little backstory is that around about early spring last year, and I've always had, <laughs> I'm going on a tangent again, which is often what I do, um, I've always had a back problem. Again, that hails back to the fact that I was sitting in, in a chair for six, seven hours a day when I was at work. My back problem started then. Um, and in fact, um, because I was made redundant, I've talked about that before as well. Um, but yeah, so basically my back problem started when I was at work. They were really, really kind to me. And actually um, when I was at work, you know, if you have any problems, because I obviously had to have time off work, um, when I went back, you know, you can walk around whenever you want to, but you know, it wasn't enough. So basically, um, last year, about um, early spring, I had about a week, I think, of my back went, was so bad that I couldn't hardly move. It was 
so, so painful. I've always had a hip problem ever since I was about 10 years old. Um, I was in hospital for that. I'm not quite sure. They don't really know what it was. Um, they put it down to growing pains, but I've always had a problem with my hip and my back area, which went really because it, I mean, I'm going into it a little bit and this is obviously a, another new thing for me to share so much, but obviously I have to give you a backstory to really identify why I did this. So yes, I had a hip problem. I also had hip problems when I was pregnant because obviously your ligaments um, they become a lot looser to make way for the baby being born. So I always had a hip problem, but that generally went. I've always been really active. I've walked everywhere. I have encouraged my children when they were toddlers and growing up um, to bike and walk. Um, so I've always been really active. And of course, now I'm getting older, that <laughs> me being active has obviously um, worn or made my hip um, you know, quite bad <laughs> now I'm older. So that wear and tear is showing now. So of course it started when I was at work, I wasn't being very active. That was one thing that really, um, you know, caused, started my back problems up again, um, you know, since my children were born. And um, so now, last spring, I suppose, all of a sudden I had this really bad back and it was bad for a week. I didn't get over it for a month and I think leading up to that I wasn't active and that is, I suppose perhaps it was like a warning to me to, to actually do something and I do believe in that. I do believe that you know, health-wise, sometimes we are sent these warnings and I knew that I had to do something. So what I did was um, I decided to start the exercise. So even though I put on a lot of weight, um, you know, leading up to the tail end of last year, I started my exercise. And what I found was, so I'd always had in my mind, you know, when I was at work, um, I wasn't very active, even though I walked to and from work, um, luckily enough, it wasn't too far away. So I walked there and back. Um, and then I sat in a chair for six or seven hours a day. So that's really what kicked it off. Then I was made redundant. And again, I wasn't really active. Um, and that is really, you know, I walk places and that, but I weren't, I wasn't, sorry, very active and it made, I suppose my hip and back problem really quite bad. So like I said, um, springtime last year, took me a month to get over it and I knew that I had to do something about it. So um, really in that month, I could hardly walk. I couldn't walk. I found it very, very painful to walk up the stairs. I couldn't even walk to the shops, which is only five minutes away for me. Um, you know, I don't live in a city, but there are a few shops that I can visit. I couldn't really do that. Um, if I went to Norwich, which was, you know, um, which is my nearest city and I love going there, I could only walk around the shops for a very minimal amount of time. So what I started doing, because I, I actually found out or, you know, thought to myself, actually, when you do go out and when you do walk, um, the pain is a little bit better, even though I couldn't do a great deal. So what I did was I've had, I mean, my children had a wee fit, we've got a wee fit. So what I did was I started off by doing step ups and the step ups that I do um, is just like the step ups on the wee fit. But I knew that I had to really focus on my right side. So what I did was rather than on the wee fit, you do the um, because I did do the wee fit and found that that actually helped me out. But I didn't want to keep putting on the wee fit. What I, and I got so bored with doing the wee fit and watching the, this, this um, you know, step up. I um, used to, I just put on some a program that I was interested in. So, um, and to start with, I didn't need to do that anyway, as you'll hear. So on the step up, what I started off by doing was, I started off by following the wee fit and I could only do a minute each day. So I started off by doing a minute every day. Then I did that for about 
a week, probably even longer, two, three weeks of doing a minute, minute a day. Then I built that up to two minutes and each time I did the step ups, I found that it eased my hip. Um, and I was so paranoid at that point by this horrendous time that I'd had, you know, the month of um, my hip being so bad that I could hardly walk anywhere and not even being able to go up the stairs very well. And even in my videos, I was putting pillows behind me because I was so uncomfortable. Um, and I remember in one video, I was re really had to mess about with the, the pillow and rearrange it because the pain was so bad but I still wanted to carry on because I knew in my heart of hearts that I'd done it myself. I had let myself get into, um, you know, this um, state of um, not being very active um, because the getting made redundant hit me so, so hard. So um, anyway, I started off a minute. I worked myself up to two minutes. I then was able to do five minutes. And now, um, 18 months later, I have now actually, my husband has just in the last um, few weeks um, picked me up a proper keep fit step. So a proper step. So basically a wee fit is only like that, isn't it? The board, I mean, I'm doing step ups on there and that has been my savior. So I've been able to do those step ups now and I'm actually at half an hour. I can do half an hour. I have actually done hour an hour as well. I also, if I need it, I do half an hour in the morning, half an hour in the afternoon, but I have done an hour before um, and I really feel so, so good about the fact that I have built myself up to those um, half an hours, to an hour. So um, my husband recently purchased for me a proper keep fit step which is now I would say about that. Um, so I've gone from about that to that and um, it put me back a little bit because this week I must say, and with my back problem, you know, I can do, for example, I could do something. So if I did, um, you know, step ups on the new step that my husband got me, um, the, it wouldn't, show or the pain wouldn't come back and for a couple of days so I don't know if I've done too much for a couple of days um, so this week what I've done is uh, the pain has come back a little bit so I started off I went back a little bit and did this de step up again for a quarter of an hour and then I today is the first day that I've done half an hour again um, and at the moment it does feel okay but you know, my back is probably now going to be a problem now forever because, um, and it's just something that obviously I have to take care of. So I suppose that is my exercise journey. Um, now I can go to Norwich and I can walk about for a long period of time. Um, I can go down to the shops near me um, on my own because I, in fact, actually, I couldn't even go to the shops on my own. I was so worried about going out and about in case, you know, I because my hip was so painful and so it was just not a very good time. So I couldn't, if I went anywhere, I always had to have someone with me because it, it was just, yeah, I didn't want to be stuck anywhere if the pain came back, if you know what I mean. So I always had to be accompanied. Um, it, it has been bad this week. So um, I've had to, like I say, take a step back. But yeah, it was so bad. It was so bad that um, this is, I was invited actually to the um, Revolution Halloween party last year. And I was really excited, really looking forward to it. Um, I got there, um, went to the party and there was no chairs and I actually wore wedges, stupidly wore wedges, and I actually had to leave because my back um, started playing up and the pain came back. And believe me, I knew it for a week after that, um, you know, I had worn heels. I can now wear a tiny little wedge because obviously we're now a year on. I can wear little wedges and, um, you know, not have any problems. But I suppose all of this, the redundancy, 
um, you know, the back pain and all of that kind of thing has caused me to have severe anxiety. So, <laughs> which is another issue, which I won't get into too much today, but yeah, I have severe anxiety and it's not something that a lot of people know about me. This is the first time that I'm putting it out there and it is a big, big deal for me. But like I say, I won't talk too much about it today because it is mostly about my weight loss, my exercise, what I've been doing, why I've been doing it. But yes, I do have severe anxiety. You've seen it sometimes on my videos. You'll see the red, my red rash appear and I try and keep out of anxious situations because um, it just, I don't know, it's just, I, I don't like the feeling and um, you know it's it's just not very nice but I will get through it I will get over it um, but you know it is a big deal for me and anxiety if anybody's got it is a horrible 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 thing and I wouldn't wish it on anybody but that is the reasoning why um, yeah, I didn't stay until the end of the Halloween party um, and you know I my husband accompanies me to most things um, because of my anxiety um, so yeah it's that is just something a little taster of what I wanted I wanted to share that with you so anyway that was my exercise program that I do um, I do it religiously every single day apart from Sunday because on a Sunday now we go out and about and you know I feel really good that we can now go places together and I don't have to worry so much about my back but now getting on to my diet so obviously my exercise has really helped me because um, it has really my problem area actually is my tummy after having four children and I was actually okay until, um, until the fourth one. So I actually sprang back into shape um, with the first three. I just went back within a couple of weeks. I don't know how I did it, probably because I was so busy, but I did. But even though with the fourth one, I was still very, very busy, as you can imagine, with four children, four under seven I had. Um, <laughs> And I, I still can't think to this day how I did it. So with the fourth one, my tummy did not ever go back to how it was before I had the children. And even now I've been exercising um, and the step ups really have helped. I mean, they have really tightened my waist up and the area and it's only step ups, but it's amazing how great it has been for me. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you about the exercise, why I exercise and you know the issues that I've had. Obviously, if you would like me to go more in depth about my anxiety, I would love to. I'm not sure if I'm ready to yet, but it's probably something that I will lead up to. Um, but obviously now I want to share with you my diet part of it. I, I don't really like saying diet. I always mention diet, but I don't really like the word diet because, you know, as soon as you put a label on something, it's like, it's like when um, my daughter got married last year and she was obviously searching for a lot of wedding appropriate things. Um, you can go into a shop and buy a similar thing for a minimal amount but as soon as you put wedding in front of it you can the price just rockets it's like you know the room um my husband and i has stay have stayed at the same place that my daughter and her husband actually stayed in when they got married and we have got it for very minimal a pro um, amount and price but as soon as you put wedding the price shoots up um, so it's the same with diet. As soon as you put, you label it and say, I'm on a diet. I don't know. I want to dig my heels in and say, I'm not on a diet. I don't want to be on a diet. So what I have done is, it's not so much a diet. So I'm not on any kind of plan. Uh, but like I said, five or six years ago, I did the same thing. Obviously I'm saying diet and I've mentioned diet in my videos before. It's because it's a word that everybody understands, um, you know, that I am on a diet. But I like to say that I'm healthy eating. 
um, you know, because I don't like that word. So yes, I'm healthy eating and <laughs> I don't know why, but the weight just would not come off to start with. And for quite a long while, the weight just wouldn't shift. And I could eat barely nothing during the day and it still wouldn't come off. So anyway, what I decided to do then is, um, you know, not worry about it too much. And I don't weigh myself. That's one thing I don't do. I don't weigh myself. I do know that I've probably lost near on, I would say three stone. I've weighed myself twice, I think, in the year that I've, or year and a bit that I have been, you know, losing weight. Um, but I, I've only weighed, yeah, I've only weighed myself twice and that's only because my son picked up some weighing scales <laughs> and they're in the bathroom and I'm, I think, shall I, shan't I weigh myself? Now I don't worry because the batteries ran out and I'm really thankful that it has because I don't wa worry so much about the weight that I am. I'm more worried about fitting into certain clothes so I was at 18 size 18 going to a 20 wearing size 20 because I wanted to cover everything up but actually I'm now in between a 14 and a 12. Um, my issue is my chest because I am big chested and however much weight I lose the chest is still the same size and my stomach area is still not quite there but it's nearly there. Um, so yes, so getting on to my dietary needs, my healthy eating plan. Um, so what I do is, or what I did actually in the beginning was I ate a lot of porridge in the morning for breakfast. Now I cannot stand the sight of it. So I don't eat porridge for breakfast anymore because I just can't stand it. But what I do for breakfast is I always eat something for breakfast. In fact, I always have three meals a day so breakfast, lunch, and then a dinner um, or an evening meal. Um, I So I always have three meals. For breakfast, I will now have brown toast. That's what, I mean, breakfast is a little bit of a personal th thing. Some people can eat certain things, some people can't. And although I really like the porridge, like I say, I can't stand the sight of it now. And I can have toast, so I have two, slices of brown bread with a low fat spread and I'll have a tiny amount of Marmite. So minimal because I'm not, I don't like it strong. So that is my breakfast. Of course, I've mentioned before, the only thing that I drink is water. That's all I drink. Um, I mean, I love um, cola, Coca-Cola, but um, I don't want to start getting into that, liking the taste of sweet things. I don't have any hot drinks. Um, water is just what I like to drink and it works very, very well for me. So yeah, I that's what I have for my breakfast. For lunch, I have near enough the same thing every single day and that's fine. And I'll have four Rivitas with a very minimal amount of low fat cheese on them with obviously low fat spread. I'm obsessed with crisps, absolutely obsessed. So I can't cut out crisps. And I think that you should have something that you like, just try and find a low a low fat, you know, equivalent. So I have hula hoops because all they are already salted. They have a little bit of salt on there and that's it. So I have a bag of hula hoops um, and then I will have what else will I have? Oh, and I'll have a low fat yogurt. So basically that's all I need for lunch. Sometimes I'll have an avocado on my Rovita, but most of the time that is all I have. I don't really need a great deal for lunch. It's my evening meal that I um, really need. Um, you know, breakfast, I'm not too hungry. Lunch, I'm not too hungry. And it's the evening that I really need something to eat. So, um, <laughs> so for the evening meal, I always have salad. Um, I am near enough a vegetarian. I don't eat that much meat at all. Um, I suppose I'm not a true vegetarian because um, I just don't like the taste of meat. Um, so, and I know that a lot of vegetarians just don't like the idea of animals being killed. Um, it's not so much that, although to be honest, I don't really like that idea either, but it's the fact that I just don't like meat. 
I just don't like it. I've never liked it. Um, so the only meat that I will have is I do like bacon in a sandwich and I am partial to a McDonald's, <laughs> which is another reason <laughs> why I put on so much weight. Um, so yeah, so I, I don't eat a lot of meat. So the evening meal consists of salad. Um, I will have either, um, and I absolutely love vegetables. I just could eat them and eat them and eat them until they're coming out of my ears. So I love mushrooms. So I'll have a mushroom salad, you know, those big, um, are they called portobello mushrooms? I'll have, you know, those with salad. I'll have um, mozzarella with, you know, one of those circles of mozzarella, not grated. Um, I'll have that with salad. I will have, you know, whatever I can have that's healthy, I will have it with salad because that's how much I love vegetables. So that is my evening meal. Um, I might have a little bit of sprinkling of cheese on there, um, but I try and eat as healthy as I possibly can. Now, what has helped me with keeping this healthy eating plan going is what I do now, and I didn't do this at the beginning of my healthy eating plan, but I'm doing it now because I'm obviously losing weight. You can tell that I'm losing weight. And what I do now is I have a day of the week, which is mostly Sunday, could be Saturday, depending on what we're doing, but um, I'll have a day where I can eat not what I want, because I still have the three meals a day, but you know, if we're out and about, I'll treat myself to perhaps you know a pizza or perhaps a McDonald's or something like that. Um, and I'll have a packet of crisps that I really want, which is salt and vinegar flavored Walkers crisps. So I'll have that, you know, um, and I may have a frappe from McDonald's as well, which is my absolute favorite. But what I try not to do is I try not to have too many sweet things because I have got quite a sweet tooth. I don't know what it was, but ever since I had my fourth child, I've been obsessed with chocolate. So if I taste chocolate, I know that I'm going to go back on that, you know, wanting more and more of it and then eating a whole bar of it before you even know what you've done. Um, so I don't want to get into that. So, yeah, that is basically my secret behind my weight loss. Um, exercising a little bit but often. Um, the step up, um, I don't, you know, near enough run at it. Um, it does stay on the wee fit and this is actually where I got the idea from that you have to keep to the same pace all the way through the exercise and that is what I do. So I just do it steadily, keep the same pace going and I'll do five minutes on um, one side rather than, because on we the wee fit you have to do it for every minute. Um, so I do it five minutes on one leg, you know, starting off with one leg and then five minutes with the other. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. And then obviously with the eating plan, um, that is, you know, generally it is just healthy, eating healthily and just watching what I eat. And thankfully now the weight has, I suppose in the last few months, months actually, um, it's really just, you know, falling off, not falling off really fast, but it, I can notice it and it makes me feel good that, um, like my family all came round on Saturday to meet my newest family member my um, beautiful grandson and um, yeah um, they all noticed so I'm really really pleased um, that and I think it, it spurs you on then doesn't it that once people start saying about your weight loss or you look good or this that or the other it spurs you on then so yes it's really spurring me on now to actually get to my goal of a size 12 I think if I was to start weighing myself, um, you know, and for me, weighing myself on scales, I would just become obsessive about it, looking at it, oh my goodness, I've put on a pound today, oh my goodness, you know, I'm not losing enough, and I didn't want to put that much pressure on me myself, so that is why I would rather, um, you know, look at myself uh, or you know, put some clothes on that is a size or two smaller, um, you know, and in this case, I want to get to a size 12, and I know that I'm nearly there. 
Uh, and it's exactly the same as when I lost weight the first time round. I didn't actually know that I was losing the weight until someone at work said, why are you losing so much weight? And my work trousers, I walked, <laughs> I walked to work one day and they literally f fell. I had to grab them. On the <laughs> they'd become so loose. I hadn't even noticed, um, you know. And I suppose the same thing is happening this time. I can I can now see, um, you know, like clothing that I'm wearing. I can tell that I am losing weight. I can see that I am because now my stomach doesn't protrude past my bust which is what it did now my stomach is tucked in behind my bust yes it's still round and i think once you've had a certain amount of children you know you're always going to have some kind of sign of wear and tear that you've had those four children and mine is that my stomach has been stretched <laughs> and it's just not going to go back to how flat it was bearing in mind that in my 20s i would probably be equivalent to a size i don't know four six um and that is why it has become it was, I, I, I should say, such a shock to me the first time round. So if I've missed anything, if you are interested in something that perhaps I haven't mentioned in this video, then obviously, as usual, I would love to hear your thoughts. I would love for you to ask me the, any questions that you're interested about. Um, there's so much in my mind that I wanted to say, so I... I hope that I have answered any questions that you have before obviously you needed to answer them. I knew that this was going to be a long video um, and it is different for me because I'm not demonstrating a look or I'm not demonstrating a product so it is totally different for me but I hope that I have managed to you know tell you my weight loss, my story um, of how I've progressed. I can certainly see, for when I look at videos, I can see the difference. I feel healthier. I know that I look healthier and I feel healthier. I've actually got, and I think when you're in that, when you're in that, when you have put on weight, you're in that circle of going round and round. You have to, you've put on the weight, you haven't got any energy, so to give you that energy you're hungry a lot because obviously you've put on the weight so you're feeding yourself and it's just going round and round and round and you you know you get stuck in that rut i knew because i've always been energetic and like i say i used to walk miles and miles with my children we never i mean my husband obviously drives but i've always even though i don't drive i've always been self-sufficient to get me and the children where we needed to go whether it was walking them you know i've always been like that but um I knew that I had to do something about it the second time round. So I hope that I've hit on all of those points. I would love to hear, like I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Obviously, congratulations to Joe Borden. Um, you know, a big, big thank you to you, Joe, and to everybody who comments. You, you really, obviously, there are things on the other side of the camera, i.e., what's going on with me that you may not necessarily know about. You may not have known that I have anxiety up to here um, about silly little little things um, but yeah um, it's nice to be able to discuss it it's nice to be able to tell people because it is only my very immediate family that knows about that um, and obviously a lot of people around me have seen my weight loss they don't know why um, but now obviously if they watch my videos they will and if you are brand new to my channel if you have just stumbled across my channel I would love it if you subscribed to watch further videos obviously do pop along to my Instagram details down below to um, give me your questions for my question and answer video obviously do let me know down below which palettes you would like to to see in my revisiting week collab um, for no my revisiting collaboration palettes week so the palette and the shades that you'd like me to try on so I'd love for you to do that but obviously until tomorrow thank you so so much for watching thank you bye